Okay, let's go, 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 go. I haven't done this in so long. I'm trying to look at you. Girl, you got it, you got Girl. it. Let me make sure I'm focusing on the road, too. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so tragic. You like, oh. <laughs> exactly. But, um, hey, y'all. Welcome back to another Estrogen Hi. Release video. I am Asia. And in today's video, I have my bestie, my good friend, Hi, Kim Kiss. And we are on our way to a rodeo. Mm -hmm. How long have we been planning this? Uh, at least, I want to say two months now. Two months. At yeah. least two months. It's so crazy. I was just telling her that... Nice. My family, we wanted to go to a rodeo because I used to go to rodeos when I was a kid because I was a cowgirl. Cowgirl. I used to ride horses and stuff, so that was I, my scene. I saw the photo, so she not, she not lying I should pop that. it up, but I don't even know what <laughs> that photo is. I did have cowboy boots, though. But, um, yeah, I used to go as a child, and so me and my family was talking about it. But the one in Maryland was $72. Crazy. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, no, we're not doing that. So... He was like, it's the one coming out here, $15, let's do it. So I was like, yeah, let's mm -hmm. lock it in. But y'all, honestly, you know, whenever I get around my family, my friends, it feels good because I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or it's just the season I'm in. I feel like there's a constant sense of being overwhelmed these days. Like, I agree. I feel like extremely chaotic, more chaotic than usual. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, I feel like I'm really good at hiding it for the most part only you know only comes out in squirts and rants and stuff like that but <laughs> squirts <laughs> yeah, i don't know it's just, this season has been such a it's a lot of stuff changing a lot of moving pieces a lot of things going on and because this year i've been very committed to doing new things or you know just doing things that right. i haven't done in a while like vacationing going to different areas traveling by myself a little bit more etc etc i just i don't know i just feel like I, I don't know how do you feel when you're overwhelmed i feel like i can't breathe um i don't feel like i can't breathe but i feel like definitely overstimulated like too much going on i can't concentrate and it's funny you brought up anxiety because now it's been hitting me at like random time on the most like simplest dumbest stuff like i was at my sister's apartment the other day and i was hungry and i was she was like well you can order something and have it delivered I was like, can you order it for me? I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. Aww. It's like, I know what to say, but I don't know. You get anxious about stuff. And I was like, this is dumb. Like I've ordered plenty of times. That's the weird thing that is, it's like, it's the things that you look back on. It's like, wow, I was really going through something. <laughs> exactly. Because that shouldn't have been what it was. But honestly, I, I just really don't, I just feel like I, it's not even just not being able to breathe. It's, I guess it goes in hand in hand with the overstimulation. Mm -hmm. It's like my mind is going boom, boom, boom. This could right. go wrong. That could go right. This is how you do it this is how you don't do can't it. focus yeah. can't focus girl mm -hmm. i was literally in a tizzy <laughs> i started a new job won't go too much into it but i started a new job and so i'm at home now and just the process of the me leaving my old job and then starting this new job it's that waiting period I just feel like it was just like something to do. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, had to be here, had to be there. And I don't know, I just felt like, uh, I also, and this is the point I really wanted to make, I feel like the weird part of being overwhelmed or mm -hmm. having that feeling of just like, you know, anxious and stuff like that is I have so many things I want to do, but I don't know if it's not because you don't know I don't know where to start. Don't know where to start, don't know how to organize it, don't mm -hmm. know how to prioritize. Ooh, did I say that right? Prioritize? Mm -hmm. Yeah, prioritize yeah, yeah. it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't sound crazy <laughs> prioritize and it's like it's i guess it's the the logistics of it the finances the energy mm -hmm. like it's just so many things I, also i feel like i want to live so many lives and i don't know if that's Ooh. plausible but no i, so I think it is i think dreams, it is dreams and goals and i'm just like i don't know it's just it's getting overwhelming thinking about it do you ever have that type of vibe? yeah it's like i told myself similar to you this year i'm going to try to do new things that i get out of my comfort you've been zone. doing a I lot yeah like i don't see myself doing but now my weeks and weekends are back to back to mm -hmm. back where i don't get a break or like time to myself and then i think that's what leads to my anxiety and i get anxious like okay I just need to have a relaxation day and you know day to myself so but date. Take exactly date. i just had one on monday it Ooh. was amazing what did you do so um at work our patient patient census is low so they're encouraging us to use our pto i got a bunch of pto Here so i didn't hesitate to use it we love a pto queen so on <laughs> for sure <laughs> so on monday i went to get my eyebrows done and Here then i spent like three hours in the park 
Oh. And it was so beautiful. It was nothing but like elderly people there mm -hmm. just walking and like the fresh air. Even though it was hot, I love the heat though. So, but it was just amazing. Like, and then I just went out to eat later, you know. So it was just by like yourself? a good day. Well, I went with my boyfriend. But oh, okay. most of the day I was like by myself. Yeah, and yeah. Then after he got off, we, you know, yeah. went out to eat. And I ain't gonna lie, that weekday to yourself time is way different than weekend to yourself time because the the mm -hmm. volume of people that's another thing exactly i keep and i'm trying not to go back into my old uh you know home uh remote like i wouldn't say remote but recluse like mm -hmm. body. Mm -hmm. yeah i mean don't get me wrong i will always be a homebody so i'm trying not to revert <laughs> completely to just wanting to stay at home 24 7. but the crowds I really don't like to be around crowds. either. And I've said that a million times on this channel, but I just, the thought, I'm like thinking of how many people's gonna be there, it just takes me out of it. And then now I I'm agree. just sitting at home panicking over stuff that I shouldn't be panicking about. <laughs> exactly. Stuff that hasn't even came up yet. So it's just like. What, what do they call it? Uh, worry warts? You always worry? I'm like, I need to get that tatted on my neck because <laughs> I'm a worry wart. For real, like I, I just, I really just don't just overthink it. What do you do to kind of get out of that space? I mean, the self date, y'all know I'm always going to be mm -hmm. an advocate for self date, always, always, always. That's just who I am as a person, and I'm, I really need one. Soon. It's amazing. Yeah, I really need one soon. Uh, but I want to. I think I'm going to do a massage. I need to get you some, should some yeah. real TLC. Mm -hmm. But um, what do you do to get out of it outside of just? having me time so for me like i'm a music person so mm. i'll listen to music new music old music any type of music also um i'm starting to get back into reading like self-care um improvement books at first i was like okay i'm reading and like i don't know if i'm gonna apply it to my daily life yeah but actually i have been like i've mm. been more patient with people like I've been, I just feel better about my, like now I have the mentality, life is just so beautiful. Like yeah. that's how I feel That's now. a good space to be in. Judge Lynn Toller, her books are amazing. I would just, not expect you to read. I love her, like. <laughs> I would not expect that at all. She just brings like peace in my life. And I'm like, that's okay, I could look at this situation from this perspective or this perspective. I'm gonna take the high road now, yeah. you know? So um, not that I was taking a low road, but now, reading those books like encourage you more to you know yeah. just take the high road and just be be at peace with life you know you can't change everything so just take it for what it is and that's really crazy because i would not picture you like taking a book and be like okay i'm gonna actually you know i know you read but yeah. i never thought self-help i didn't know that was your genre at all um i didn't think so either but you know certain circumstances that yep. we talked about yep. you know i had yep. to, <laughs> I had to do make some, some changes yeah, so, like, and I, gotta switch yeah. It up. yeah yeah so i mean i didn't think it would work but it actually does like yeah. i can truly feel it so yeah mm -hmm. i know for me i'm I'm always going to be writing, like that's just who I am as a person, I always write stuff down. Right. But now it's getting so specific, I'm writing out daily. That's like good though, journaling. When I wake up in the morning, I get my breakfast, I do my thing, mm -hmm. and just to kind of get my like thoughts kind of like, I guess organized, structured, I make a checklist of everything that I need to do, and then I just go from there. And one thing I will say, kind of, it kind of piggies back off of you, which is say you feel good about yourself. Yeah. When you see all those check marks of everything that you exactly. did, it's like, okay, queen, I did that. Exactly. Yeah, I'm doing I, and I don't really believe in like the whole, um, you know, the illusion of productivity and stuff. I just feel like you have to define what productivity is for you. Right. But I know that if I'm looking at something visually and it makes me feel like, okay, I did what needed to be done today. I can take, I can, I can enjoy my snack now. I can enjoy this nap. Then that's, I, I did my deed for the day. Right. And I think that's kind of cool what you said too. Like you can feel the growth, you can feel the changes right. because you're actually applying what you're So I think, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, and I, like I said, I really wasn't expecting it, but like you just view situations different now. You're yeah. like, okay, that's growth. Yeah. That's what growth looks like. But yeah, it's, and then my boyfriend always tells me, you don't know how to relax. And then I thought about it, I was like, I don't. Like, I'll always have to be doing something. Yeah. And if I have like a day where I just like sit around, I feel like, okay, I just wasted a day. But that's not a day wasted. Yeah. You know, so. I was about to say, I'm surprised you don't know how to relax because I feel like we chill all the time. <laughs> It's like, maybe if I'm yourself. at home, yeah, maybe I have to yourself. do something around the house. Like, yeah. I don't just sit and watch TV. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. It's just so funny that we, <laughs> as soon as she got in the car, she was like, girl, it has been a week. And I'm like, <laughs> really? same. And I don't know if it's because, again, if we're getting older and just, again, stepping more and more into that adulthood lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, 
I don't, it's a lot of things going on at once. And again, I don't really think it's going to slow down anytime soon. We just got to manage um, better. Sorry, you yeah. did not have to cut. You could have waited. Exactly. Oh, cool. Press city. But no, I don't, I, th- I don't think it's going to get, like our schedules are going to get any better. But I think it's important to kind of find those tools that help you not feel as crappy. And that's, that's another thing we're doing. We, you know, we're going to a rodeo. Mm-hmm. Because, Different. again, if you want to have stress time, you got to have some play time, too. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you got to enjoy yourself. So we're on our way there. We're going to pick up some friends. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to enjoy ourselves. So I don't know if I'm going to put the montage before this this part or mm-hmm. after this part. But enjoy the montage. They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.